And new tonight, Providence City leaders hosting a public forum to unveil a long-term master plan for the future of the 610 connector. And last month, Governor Gina Raimondo ordered RIDOT to fast-track plans for fixing the crumbling connector's nine bridges. Iowa News reporter Kim Kalunian was at tonight's meeting. She joins us now live with more on what the public had to say. Kim? Mike Kelly, many residents were dismayed with the governor's push to fix the 610 connector without first reimagining it. But the residents we spoke with tonight seemed a lot happier with the city's alternative to that proposal. This isn't an either or situation. We can have both. Providence Mayor Jorge Alorza unveils the city's proposal to overhaul the 610 connector, calling for changes that would reconnect neighborhoods with walking and bike paths. The plan would also reclaim upwards of 50 acres of land for redevelopment and redirect traffic through a new so-called halo that would reduce use of local streets. The proposal comes less than a month after Governor Raimondo called for RIDOT to expedite repairs to the 610 and its crumbling bridges, dashing some residents' dreams of a street-level boulevard. Many at Monday night's meeting saw the city's proposal as a happy medium. It is a compromise, and I think it's one that doesn't give away too much. This does a pretty good job of balancing the needs of the traffic, the needs of the community. They had great facts and figures and um, renderings, and they're listening to us. I think that's a perfect start. The governor's planned repairs come with a price tag of $400 million. The city has yet to unveil the impacts on traffic or the cost of their proposal. We have a hunch that this is actually going to be cheaper, not only to build, but much cheaper to maintain. A spokesman for Governor Raimondo said in a statement, quote, as the governor has said since announcing the immediate need to rebuild and replace the structurally deficient bridges, she is willing to consider alternate proposals or components as long as they address immediate public safety concerns and avoid any delays to construction. And there will be another public meeting at the end of this month where the city is expected to release a detailed traffic analysis and a cost estimate for their proposal. The governor's office tells us that they will analyze the city's completed proposal immediately. Reporting live in Providence with the Mobile Newsroom, Kim Kalunian, Eyewitness News.